What's going on, everybody? I got a crazy gameplay for you today. Um, this is me in my Super Bowl Legend tier versus a pretty good opponent in Diggs. Um, I'm not too sure who it is. I played him a couple times before, and we get cheated in this game. Here we go, man. We're getting ball first. Carolina offense, Miami, D uh, excuse me. Carolina offense and 4-6 defense for me. My opponent will be in Colts offense, and I don't know about defense, but we get cheated in this game. I'm not going to say if I won or lost. This is definitely my best game as an entertainment standpoint, a competitive standpoint, one of my favorite games I've played this year. Um, and there's a lot of high scoring in this game, so, you know, if you're a defensive guy, you want to see defense, this is not the gameplay to watch, even though I do lock up a few times. So guys, this is my Super Bowl and Legend tier. Um, we're going to start off the game with a bomb. We're trying to hit him with a bomb, see, test his coverage, see if he's in cover three, and we throw a book. First play of the game, we throw a book. Deion Sanders, we have Jamar Chase there, and Deion Sanders wasn't having any of that. And he's going to take it all the way down to the 40. I mean, that's just not the way you want to start off a game, especially in this year's Madden, especially in your Super Bowl, especially on four minute quarters. I could go on and on and on. As you see right here, I try to line up and unload a deep bomb, trying to just see if the cover three would get burnt. And who knows what he did for his adjustments. But Dion was not playing any of that. So you see right here, I'm setting up my defense. I'm in four six. So I'm going to be audibly in three three five to three three five wide, something I did a lot last year. And right here, guys, I'm not going to lie, I was trying to, I was thinking about accepting it, but I will never accept it, man. Unless you accept mine or, you know, there's reason for me to accept it, I will never accept a, you know, gentleman's, gentleman's agreement delay of game. If it's later on in the game and you get delay of game, I'm obviously going to accept that. But here we go, man, gun bunch offset. I'm using Cam Chancellor. Let me know if you guys want a team update. I really haven't done that yet. My team is pretty stacked now. Um, I really love the way I've been playing and how my team is. Uh, there's a couple pieces I do need to upgrade. He's right here. He's going to start off sending out five. And just like me, he's going to take that flat route out of double post. He does have Kyle Pitts, though, instead of George Kittle. So that's something to look out for. Right here, guys. Notice he does have Trevor Lawrence at quarterback. I know there are a few quarterback options. And we get burnt deep. I know it's a little choppy. Excuse me for that, guys. Um, it's OBS recording and just like that. But Jamar Chase burns us deep. Just not the way you want to start off. I didn't think I'd be able to get burnt from that close. But hey, man, anything goes with the streaks in this game. But yeah, man, so far, no cheats have happened. One minute into the game, and we are at a complete disadvantage. But don't worry, man. I'll have a counter, uh, basically just counting how many times I get cheated in this gameplay. Um, if, you got, if you're a sicko want to see me get cheated, just wait, man. It's going to happen. Right there, we have B Marsh, newly acquired on that C route. And right here, we're going to try to bomb him deep. This tight uh, doubles, I believe, has a nice bomb. And excuse me, I tried to, I thought I was going to bomb him deep. But in reality, we go to a corner route play and we get screamed at, man. That's Cam Chancellor on the pressure. He's just so fast and so good. And that's something like I wasn't used to seeing. Why would someone blitz Cam Chancellor instead of using him? I guess this guy has his reasoning. Uh, he's right here. We're going to try to hit George Kittle. And the, guess who it is? Cam Chancellor. If you haven't upgraded your Cam Chancellor, go do that right away. He is the best player in defense by far. So, man, this is not looking ideal at all. Third and 21 in this game. How do we get in this predicament? Uh, it's Madden 22. You could literally throw anything. We're going to try to throw something right here, and that is a vertical wheels route to wheel route to Jamar Chase. And you know we're going no huddle, man. Um, you know, this if we get stopped here, pretty much chalked. You know, we could always fight back, but it's going to be pretty tough to, to stop someone who's actually pretty decent, knows what they're doing, and they run bunch. We're going to go to verticals once more boom wheel route that looked a little scary man i don't know if i could throw that all madden knowing the game you might be able to that definitely looked a little scary ed reed looked like he wanted to play that in that quarter right here man we're gonna hit him with a flip the flip forgive me guys i know you guys hate the flip bunch but we're gonna hit george kittle literally the cheesiest thing in this game is the fact that you could flip your bunch so fast and call hike so fast and boom there's a flat for five easy yards all the way up to 20 you know you could break those tackles and you know i'm gonna flip a lot because it's just the most competitive thing you could do in this game for me like to give me an advantage 
It's right here. Everything is bad. We are just going to try to take off, end up throwing it away because he has a nice little click on. I don't want to get in myself in any type of scenarios like that because you could really make mental errors. And I've done it way too many times where, you know, someone clicks on and picks me off and something like that. So right here, guys, on a third and four, we're going to go to flood. Easy reads. LaDainian Tomlinson and also a new ad. Like I said, man, my team is pretty stacked now compared to what you guys have been watching in my previous Mutt gameplays. Got Revis, Reed, Marshall, LaDainian Thomas, and we don't have Johnny Unitas because his release is shit. Um, but we got, like I said, I think Strahan, Demarcus Ware, all those legends. It's right here. Oh, my gosh. That was a little scary. We went to that uh, tight doubles four verts, and that is a, one of the best cover three bombs in the game. If you guys want a quick, easy bomb, catch your guys' opponents off guard. I highly suggest, you know, if you do run that offset or, you know, any playbook that has offset, you could audible over to tight doubles, run four verticals, and those two streaks are going to be open versus cover three every time. One of, one of the streaks will be open, maybe even both. Um, and it's because of wheel routes, man. The wheel routes pull down the cover three, and hopefully that's something that does get addressed because a lot of people are slowly but surely, you know, starting to run more cover four, more cover two, just for the fact that cover three is the easiest coverage of bomb in this game. Um, maybe you could say cover two, but they definitely buffed it up a little bit. I'll be showing you guys some nice cover two tips and tricks very soon. It's right here. Look at me running cover two right on cue. Uh, this is something I've been mixing in quite a bit, man. It's right here. There's not, not going to be really anything open. Forgive me for the choppiness, but look at this. Cheat number one. I guess you could call that a semi-cheat. That is Kyle Pitts boxing my guy out, man. But, you know, we're just going to call that cheat counter number one so one so far uh, and once more we are running cover two because i love the way that the defense played right there and right here really good defense he's gonna throw this and you know i guess i'm not gonna consider that a cheat because that was an open read but man oh man i tell you man this guy was throwing a lot of just unnecessary i guess you could call them blind reads man and that could have potentially been a pick um his receiver kind of stopped on a dime which is pretty nice to get that animation and I'll give it to him. He had some nice user plays, but some of the plays definitely should have been picked and or swatted down. It's right here. Great defense. He's going to throw this curl route, and I'm not going to get mad about that either. Um, that was open, I guess you could say, you know, because he had hit me with that twice. There's just kind of crazy. I wish I had Acrobat there. So, you know, so far the cheat counter is at one. Um, we're going to keep it going, though, man. Trust me, there's more on the way. It's right here, another easy read. He no huddles me. Right here, guys. He goes no huddle. Hits Jamar Chase on the drag. I tried to line him up and hit stick him with Chancellor, but the no huddle, man. Like, well, I, this dude just kept going no huddle, as you see right here. Uh, he goes no huddle once more. And right here, man, once more, we are in cover two. And boom, high ball. Do you guys call that a cheat? I don't know, man. I'll leave it to y'all. I paused the game because I was a little mad, man. It was, a, it, was, it was late, man. And the fact that he was just no huddling, no huddling, no huddling kind of had me a little hot. Um, I don't know why I really, I shouldn't have paused that. But I me mean, still, guys, what do you think? Is that an open read or is that something that just should not be caught? So, man, like I know that I was kind of exaggerating that drive. Didn't look too bad rewatching that. At the time, I was definitely pissed. But trust me, guys, when I say there is more on the way, we're going to fall down because I know how this game could be. You fumble one time and it's wraps. Right here, guys, here is this uh, tight doubles play setup I was telling you about. And he actually ends up running cover two. And that was a wide open dot to Brandon Marshall, except we get a terrible throw. Is that a cheat, guys? I don't know, man. Under pressure is something that happens a lot with Josh Allen. So I'm not going to really call that a cheat. Right here, we're going to go with some double posts. And once more, we have that corner route wide open. That corner route is really good this year. If you thought it was good last year, run it this year. Um, if someone plays cover three hard flats, that's the easiest, most open thing you can see. Right here, once more, we're going to hit him with a little bit of flip bunch, run flood. And right there, we're going to hit R1. He's open towards the sideline, Devin Hester. Flood is really good this year as well, guys. Four verts. We're going to change the play setup up a little bit. We're trying to attack this left side. And we kind of had it, but we'll take that. And boom, another under pressure. Add that to the cheat counter. If you've been tracking it up, I'd say it's probably three or four plays I've gotten cheated on so far. Right here, guys, we're going to go to the same play. Verticals. And he makes some nice adjustments can't even hate um i would never run those adjustments personally what he actually did if you guys want to rewind it is he manned up the right cornerback to the running back and manned up the right safety to the streak and he sent out five sent five while i sent out five and he screamed us right here we're gonna go once more 
to the wishing well of four verts and that could have maybe got lurked but there goes hester and we're gonna tie this game up and right when i say we're gonna tie it up i'm lying we're gonna go for two because like i said man i was kind of just a little mad at this point it was late at night uh, it was my super bowl man and that last drive definitely had me hot it's right here the easiest of reads to george kittle we're gonna take that one possession game and boom hit him with the salt bay it's right here guys we're trying to run cover two and i get absolutely quick hiked corner route wide open just like i was talking about last possession he breaks a tackle and ends up getting like five extra yards hester that was a 50, 17 yard gain which is kind of crazy to believe but hester man that's what he could do to you right here guys we're gonna send some heat out of cover three and we absolutely light him up i'm sorry if you guys can't see that big hit stick by cam chancellor i thought he was gonna catch that because he had a catching ability on him but i could i could you know i could tell you guys this guy was playing the greatest guessing game ever when he was you know sending everyone out my blitz wasn't coming in and when i was playing coverage he would uh you know do the same thing as right here once more the blitz doesn't come in and we end up you know holding him to gain of seven but this guy was playing the greatest guessing game ever i felt like every single time i don't know if he was like reading my tells or it was just lucky guesses he was you know i was getting pretty frustrated playing them as in it's right here guys he's gonna go up top revis island can we shut him down it's we have the speed advantage on hester and it doesn't matter i'm not gonna call that a cheat that's just a streak i know how streaks work in this game not a cheat by my books and look at me man i was gonna send this guy a message but that's just how salty i was at this time man i would even even know i just wanted to see you know and i'm like you know what let's not do it we're not that guy i was gonna send send him something like you're getting crazy lucky right now or wow this game but you know i got my emotions together and we're gonna keep going through it keep playing the game because it is our super bowl and that just goes to show how you know one you know if someone's up a possession on you man it gets tough man like i'm already thinking oh i lost this game he's getting some lucky plays and you know we end up going to this paf slide and we're just trying to hit him over the top just like he did watch jamar chase torch him over the top pass lead it inside revis island can he get there no he can't he does the same thing i just did except i have someone probably faster than hester i think they might be the same speed 93 and man that's a beautiful play out of the gun split twins i believe that's the form name um if you want easy streak touchdowns run that play it's gone me so many times right here guys he's gonna hit us over the top he runs a nice pa dig fork i 100 percent should have usered it um I thought my pressure would come in by then. I have two El Toros, sent five, and no one came in free. And that wasn't even dig for. That was PA Reed, but they're both very similar. I, th bro, PA Reed is a glitched play. He's right here once more, trying to send five, get some glitchy contain action off that left edge, and he sends out five again. He actually blocks the tight end. Excuse me. We get a nice shed, but we can't sack him, man let me know if what you guys think about that feature of throwing the ball away because i feel like it's a little too, bit too op that 100 should have been a sack and we got to remember the gunslingers and escape artists quarterbacks aren't even out yet he's right here he's gonna run the ball smart choice tried to take some clock he doesn't get ball at half but i don't even know what x factor he has on lawrence i should have checked um but after this play just check his stat line man because i'm gonna show you it at the end of the game it's right here we're gonna go man coverage and a lot of things are bad and look at that he just throws that he throws it at me he doesn't care he has no regards i was in the vicinity i have cam chancellor a six foot three beast and he still threw it i don't know if that was a high ball or not i didn't say it but you know that wasn't a cheat at all that was on me and my user but i just gave my opponent a little too much credit right there thinking he wouldn't throw it nonetheless a crazy dot um and we got to score seven man i'll take three either way we're gonna have to get a stop out of half but i need seven bad right here he goes into some weird defense i really don't know what this is he's obviously trying to get some type of pressure and right here we are gonna hit devin hester up the seams uh i wouldn't even call that the seam i'll just say up that vertical route uh, crosser beating that cover three and we go no huddle man and this was a mistake we try to hit rb right here and boom look at that he could have picked that off i don't know if he could have jumped for that but i will say i did get lucky there that's probably the only play maybe one more play where i did get a little bit of lucky 
uh, luckiness on my side right here guys we are gonna run this cover three beater we have a guy open on the right one on the left we choose brandon marshall the person who is more open and he ends up getting in this end zone for us that cover three beater is insane I probably should have went down, guys, knowing this game. 26 seconds, two timeouts is so much time. But we had to score because we had no timeouts. And I did not want to mess that up at all. It's right here, guys. A little bit of man-to-man -man coverage. And everything is bagged except that curl route. That damn curl route. It's pretty good, honestly. Uh, at first, I thought it was fluke that it was open because I was shading inside, shading underneath. I had a curl there, a 5-10 curl. Um, but you know back-to-back -back plays I can't even hate that was a nice curl route dot It's right here cover three cover two on the right cover three on the left and we play really good defense I'm proud on the way I played right here, but bro look at the luckiness He just got that should have been an interception my man's did not care at all He had the guy going inside which would have been a broken play Nonetheless and he ends up, you know not throwing a pick or anything right there and right here, he's going to hit us with a, another blind read, and he catches it. So count, keep counting those, those cheat factors. I'd say that I got cheated five or six times so far. Back-to-back -back plays is crazy. And the worst part is he could get three right here, maybe even seven, man. It's right here. He is going to go with a cover three beater to the right side. And I don't know how that's so open. I don't even know. I could rewind the play art and show you guys. Peep the play art, man. I don't change it. This is a deep third. This is a deep half. This is a deep third. And how, how, how did this happen? See right here, Jamar Chase. Look at JC Jackson, my middle safety, running away. And that hurts so much because he gets ball at half. Really thought that was going to be really good defense, in my opinion. It was a cover three uh, cloud type of look. Really like a cover two, cover three hybrid. And, you know, after those back-to-back -back crazy lucky plays, he ends up scoring seven again. Crazy, 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 you know, these plays that have been going on. Uh, he ends up getting seven in the spot. Like, you know, I'd, I'd be fine giving up three, sure. But giving up seven, this is going to be tough to win this game because he does get ball at half. We have a chance with Jamar Chase to get loose. This would be really nice to get seven, but just no space. And we're going to be going down into half, down by six, and he gets ball at half. All right, man, we got to re, you know, re-huddle, bounce back. We got to get a stop in the second half, or we could be losing in our Super Bowl. He's going to hit Allworth right there. Good read, and look at the stat line. 16 and 19, 357 yards, and he has five freaking touchdowns. I want you to remember that towards the end of the game, because I'm going to start adjusting here in a second, and you guys are my witness. It's right here. We send the heat, and he throws it away. I, I promise you, I'm going to get stingy. There's the first incompletion that, you know, you could count. And he's still badged up with Lawrence, which is insane. I really am sorry. I should have checked what he had. But I, could, I think I could see. I think he has Bazooka now that I see it on the left. Um, and right here, he's going to hit us with four verts. And good play call. We run man and bag him. And there goes two straight incompletions, man. I'm telling you, I'm going to start adjusting like crazy in this game. Is right here. We are setting up for our third down defense. Trying to send some heat and just not let him get this first down because that's at the end of the day what it comes down to is getting those third down stops. It's right here, man. He's going to motion Allworth out and he runs four verts and boom, Lawrence, t uh, excuse me, LT, LaDainian Thomason open on a wheel route. Not a cheat at all. Wide open. I sent out five. He sent out five and no pressure came in. And that's the guessing game I'm talking about. It's right there. He is going to dot us up and get all the way to the 46. And each first down he gets, it looks more and more bleak for us to win. It's right here. He's trying to go deep. We just snack onto this uh, drag and make him throw it away. There's another incompletion. We're playing really, you know, better defense than the first half. Still in, you know, not a good position at all to win this game due to the fact that, you know, he needs probably 10 more yards and get a field goal. But, you know, this is where we play D. This is where we hold the door. We're mixing up the coverages. That was match last coverage. This is man. And, you know, he had the tight end wide open. He tries to throw it, and he's going to end up getting that. And that's just a broken play, something I do really hate a lot. But, you know, it is what it is. And he's going to go no huddle, man. And this is, this is it, man. This is one of the bigger plays of the game, these next two plays. Third and six, we run man-to-man -man coverage. Everything is bagged. He's going to try to take off with Lawrence, and we bag him up. Another incompletion, and that 16 of 19 stat, you know, line 
That stat line is now at 18 of 25. So, you know, we've been playing better defense for sure. It's right here, guys. I'm going to pause my play art. Look at this play art. This is very risky on this left side. A easy streak, a easy four verticals crossing route, easy crosser, easy dig fork, you know, S post. We have this left side of the field wide open for a touchdown or even just a first down we had to get aggressive had to you know make some adjustments risky adjustments to try to get a stop let's see if it's going to work out in our favor and see he's going to call hike we send the pressure and Darrell Revis absolutely insane zone coverage and he goes crazy with that tackle I'm gonna rewind that hopefully you guys can take some notes on this I'm not saying you know this is the best but sometimes you do have to take calculated risks. As you saw, Devin Hester was wide open. We did send five. Crazy thing is the five-man heat did not come in even though he sent everyone out. So, you know, if he would have just waited, he would have thrown Devin Hester. But that soft squad baited him. You guys could rewind. I already rewinded it once. Darrell Rivas kind of played insane on that. It's right here. Another cheat. We're not going to, you know, that's whatever, man. We got the ball back. We took a calculated risk and got the ball back. Um, we're... We're living good right now, man. I'm not too worried about an incompletion on first down due to, you know, my quarterback just spiking it into the dirt. I could live for a second down right here. It's right here, man. Is He is switching up his defenses. We're going to try to hit him over the top, and we are able to. Just a bad pass lead by your boy. Um, just a not good, not good pass lead at all, but we're going to go no huddle, man. I, I like the defense he's in. As For me, I don't think this defense is it. And he could have maybe got lurky with that, man. That was not the best read whatsoever. Definitely got to chill out with Cam Chancellor, you know, roaming around in his 6'3", 6'4 frame. We're going to go no huddle again. See how he likes a taste of his own medicine. And there goes Kittle diving into the end zone, securing the lead. And I'm in prime position to win this game as we're going to hit him with the I was going to hit him with the salt bait. This signature for Kittle. That celebration is hell. I'll admit it. It's right here, man. He's going to throw something blind. Oh, that should have been a pick, man. I'm telling you guys. He highballed that instead of lowballing that. We sent the pressure. He got shook. I know you guys saw the like back end of the play. But it was, it was a cheat, I'd say. It's right here, man. He still has bazooka. We have to sack him or something to take it away. It's right here. Nothing is open. That's open. So even if you do run cover two, sometimes things will be open. But look at that stat line now. 20 of 28. I will take that, man. Compared to his 16 and 19. Uh, we've been, you know, we've been causing way more incompletions. And, you know, just been playing better defense since that first half. It's right here, man. We are trying to play aggressive once more. Sending the five-man heat. If he, block, if he sends his running back out, we should scream. It's right here. Great defense. And I don't know what he was throwing, guys. Tell me what he was throwing. We get another incompletion. Our guys are here to play in the second half. They want this Super Bowl dub. It's right here, man. Once more, man coverage. I've just been cycling through the defenses. We run a little bit of man coverage right here. And Kyle Pitts is open, except he's not. Another cheat. Oh, my God. That should have been intercepted. He should have racked it. He should have done something else. Maybe that just wasn't it. Maybe that just wasn't open. Um, 100% should have been a pick in our favor. Just not the read. It's right here. He's going to go short side. Trying to catch me off guard. And we're not having it. We flip and get our adjustments down pat. Another cover three shell. We send the pressure. We get the pressure. And he is going to end up having so long to throw this ball away. And that's what he does. Sorry for the choppiness. But look at that stat line now. 20 of 31. We've been slowing down his offense tremendously. And this is it, man. He's going for it. There's no way he can make this field. Maybe he can with Tucker, but he knows you don't settle for threes in this game. We are going to get adjusted. We have a 20 hook curl on the right side um, by JC Jackson, who's basically going to play verticals for all the time until he gets over. We send the heat. The heat doesn't come in, but look at this, man. How? 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 Another cheat. That should have been an interception, a deflection, whatever it may be. Ed Reed got there in time. He animated. Oh, my God. That's why you get these high zone players. They play way better than, you know, Fabian Moreau, Jerry Sneed. Guys who we had day one, uh, ever since Revis and Reed came out, I felt like it's been way easier to play defense. It's right here, man. I'm pretty demoralized um, after getting it. should have been a stop. Like, look at the route combos my man is making. And here we go. You already know what's going to happen. Broken play specialist. Not a really a cheat at all. But, man, I'm I pissed at this moment in time. How did he go from all the way to the right side 
run into the left side with Lawrence. How did I not get a shed? How is that guy so open? How could I not click on? There's just so many questions I got. I got two Toros and he has all the time in the world. He's going to have to go for two. Let's see if he gets it. He's going to hit us with a deuce close and we're all over this stretch. Peep the camera. I don't even know what that was to be honest. That looked like 2K Skybox or something. Right here, guys, after a run play on the first down, we're going to hit Kittle up this left side of the field, and there goes Kittle. We're eventually going to get hawked down, but I'm fine with that, man. If I could take some of this clock and potentially, you know, make this a lot, not maybe the last drive. I think I'm too close to that, but, you know, potentially maybe, you know, just take some time away, go for two if we score. Um, I'll, be I'll be very happy with that result. As right here, we accidentally call hike way too fast. I was going to delay fade my tight end. And he hits us with a crazy user rush off that right side. Something I really just hadn't seen, honestly. And I did, I will admit it, like I called hike way too early. Uh, sometimes when you try to delay fade, you hit A by accident, which is obviously a call hike. That happened to me right there. But you know, that's not the worst thing. Even though it is second and 18, we could take some of this, more of this clock. It's right here. We're going to hit this flat route. And you know, we don't get the most yards on it, but I will take it. It is going to be a third and 11 now. Right here, guys, he gives us a look that we love a lot. He doesn't flip his bunch, or excuse me, his defense, and we will take that. George Kittle fights for that first down. Um, I believe I would have got that fourth down if it had come to that. It would have been like a fourth and two or so. But man, oh man, George Kittle does come up clutch, especially in those flats. It's right here. We're going to run the ball, take some of this time. We want to end this game here. We don't want to go and lose off some you know wild play or even make it send it to OT. But it does get tricky down here, guys. I mean, the red zone is definitely, if there is a hard part to score in this game, it is going to be the red zone. Right here, we are going to, we try to go into double post, but the game kind of glitched out. And we end up calling outside zone, which actually end up being a nice play call. We get all the way to that first down marker. And now, man, he's going to have to waste those timeouts because you know me. I know how to control the clock. It's right here. We are going to hit double post. And we, Deion Sanders glitches out. We know not to score. And I believe that's going to be a second in inches, which is going to be amazing for us. Actually ends up being a first and goal, which, you know, we'll take it. He has only one time out left. If we get to like a third down right here and score, it'd be the best thing possible in this scenario. It's right here. First down and goal. We get two yards, which was nice. Even one yard, we'll take it. But the thing was, I wanted to take that time out away from him. Right here, guys, we try to go down and we end up scoring. Sorry for the choppiness, but you see us falling into the end zone and... I, I just I guess I was on conservative or I was used to conservative at this time because on conservative, you can't fall down. And that's just a new move, man. I mean, if we get to, it won't be the worst thing possible as right here. We're, you know, with the play call, man, we're running double posts. We're looking for George Kittle. We don't have him, but we have Devin Hester on the drag. It's just so many things you have to guard on this play, especially when you flip and never thought I'd be running double posts as a two point play or red zone play. But that's just how it is in this year's game. So, man, 38 seconds left. He's going to get the ball at the 25. We've been playing way better defense in the second half. He only has one touchdown. I mean, can we get out of this game alive with, you know, without any type of stress, man? This is our Super Bowl. It's legend. We'll get so many coins if we win this. I believe we get like 50 to like 70, 60,000 more coins compared to losing. Even maybe more, honestly. Is we're going to start off with a little bit of cover four, get some nice pressure. And I don't, was that a corner route he was throwing? If, he, if it was, I wasn't mad at it. We actually get a little bit of luck back on our side. 22 of 34 right there. Look at the stat line. It was 16 to 19. It is now 22 of 34. We definitely got in our bag in the second half. It's right here. We're going to run a little bit more of cover four. And right here, everything is bagged. He ends up taking Kyle Pitts, and I'm not mad at that. That's a five-yard gain. 23 at 35 he still has all those crazy numbers touchdowns yards all that but here we go man third and six we do run cover four once more but the issue right here is we didn't base the line press so look at this right side man it might get a little tricky the pressure does come in and he just lobs it up somehow some way and he gets to the field goal marker that's completely on me it's a pretty great, crazy play on my opponent's end. He got a nice dot right there. I'll give him that. Um, but now, Lance Allworth has doubled me. And I didn't even peep this until, you know, the upcoming play, man. He has doubled me, and my opponent knows that. I don't know that this time. We run cover four. We're trying to get pressure. 
And what he ends up doing is throwing it away. Good, you know, good defense. I will take it. If we get a sack here, though, it ends the game. So you know me. I'm sending the dogs, sending the dogs, sending the dogs. I actually had a really good chance of screaming in and getting a sack right there. It's right here, guys. We are going to run a little bit of cover four and cover two at the same time. He's going to go to Allworth. This is it, man. This is it. We pick him off. No, we don't. Add that to the cheat mark, the cheat counter, whatever you want to do. I mean, that was a clear blown interception. That's Trevon Morig. You can rewind that. My hands were on it. And I'm just honestly, you know, I'm not even that mad about it. At least we didn't get agged. See right here, we're going to double coverage this guy, Lance Allworth, because that was a little bit scary. It's right here. We try to get pressure. Can we hit the game? And we can't. This game is going to be decided by an ice kick, guys. If he makes this OT, obviously, and I'm fearing for my life that he might get the ball first. If he misses this, we go home after a stressful, long Madden game. Will he make this, guys? And he ends up nailing it. Justin Tucker, no problem. So here we go, guys. This probably is just a game on whoever wins this coin toss. And thankfully, we win the coin toss. We end up getting the ball. No, there's not a chance in any world where we decide to kick this ball in this year's Madden. Maybe in like Madden 20, yeah. Madden 21, you probably want to receive it. Any other Madden besides Madden 20, honestly, man, you probably want to receive the ball. I only say Madden 20 because all Madden SC, if you played a 10 capper, man, you can stop the run, but whew, that defense, that defense was insane. But enough of that. This is Madden 22, most high-powered offense, uh, most high-powered Madden as in an offensive uh, standpoint and, you know, in a while. It's right here. We are going to try to just end the game right here with a little bit of four verts. Let's see if he caught on from earlier, and he didn't. But, I mean, he actually did, I, excuse me, but he left George Kittle wide open, man. That's just not what you want to do. I believe he ran cover two um, out of, you know, DB fired out of dollar. And he had, like, five flats or something, which is insane, man. You can't play defense like that. He ends up actually adjusting pretty nicely right here. He mans up everyone. We end up throwing it away. It's right here, man. A little bit of flood. Never hurt nobody. We are going to hit George Kittle, and he gets us his first down, man. Number one thing of playing bunch, if you're playing a good high-level player, stop the flats, man. The flats are the most important thing uh, that people like me, people like Wesley, are going to look for every single time. If you're giving us easy flat reads, why wouldn't we take them? It's the easiest, safest read in the game. Um, trust me, you could definitely mess up, but it doesn't really hardly, it doesn't happen too often. It's right here. We are going to get in wide trail, one of my favorite plays out of this Carolina playbook. And boom, Devin Hester. He gets his feet inbounds. Forgive me for the choppiness once more, but you saw me roll out to the side. Delay fade action if he, you know, bit on the you know other routes. And, you know, it's all going to come down to this red zone opportunity. I love the way I've been clicking this whole second half. And you know we're going to score. You know we're going to score. Just right there, Devin Hester breaks the tackle, falls forward into the end zone. Forgive me once more for the choppiness, but there we go. We end up pulling through in a game that I thought I was just no chance I was going to win. We end up winning. Shout out to Diggs, man. I've had some hell games with this guy. And this video is no hate towards him, but we did get kind of unlucky. But we fought through it, man. We got to stop when we needed to, and that's that. Guys, great game right there. If you have a chance, if you see him anywhere around, just message him GG for your boy. We don't do that negativity here. Um, also, sorry for like if the game was too choppy. There's been something going on with my computer or w programming, whatever it may be. I'll try to, you know, figure it out. Uh, whether it be just I need more space on my computer, try to figure it out. Hopefully that did not, you know, affect the gameplay too much. I know it definitely did. Um, but till next time, guys, hopefully you did enjoy this video. It's definitely one of my favorite gameplays of the year. And I definitely had fun playing in it, you know, recording it, watching it back. Once more, just sorry about the choppiness. Till next time, guys, I'll catch you guys. Take it easy. Be on the lookout for the next video.